In this segment, we're going to use the Create New Design tool on the top toolbar. And before I start, just notice that I have no active designs open and I have basically an empty workspace and all of my tools are gray, meaning I'm gonna to need to create a new design before I can use them. And so when I say new, it brings me to a techniques, selecting techniques window. And when they're turned on, they have a little green bullet. And if you click on them, you can turn off techniques or turn them on again by simply clicking on them. And so the idea is that by choosing the techniques, it will make tools available or not available as you select them. And so if you knew you were just gonna do some cutting with your cutting machine, you could disable uh, the embroidery and the stencil and the crystals and the painting techniques and just go forward with doing cutting. And if I say create new design, it'll quickly start up a new window where I could start you know, creating text or shapes to use with my cutting machine. And notice that it has a cutting mat on my screen and it's ready to go. Now, if I say new again, I'll start a second new design. And again, I'm given the option for selecting the techniques. Now, um, if I didn't say create new design sort of quickly like that and went next, instead of saying create new design here, I say next, it brings me to the opportunity to choose an artwork source. And so um, it's either from a file that's already on your computer or from your scanner, your camera, or you can again just create a new blank graphic. And also the option to choose um, you know, from the Genomi Edge cutting mats that are available. Now, when I want to choose the artwork, I need to click on this button here, which brings me to an open sort of artwork window where I can browse the folders of my computer. And what I'm looking at is the creative drawing samples that I found in the public documents folder of my computer. And so inside of that folder, there's lots of artwork in CMX format. And if I click on it, it'll give me a preview and I can use the arrows on my keyboard just to kind of mouse through these and see what they look like and get an idea of, you know, and I, I didn't count, but there's dozens and dozens of images to, to look at. And whatever you want, when you find something you like, you say open. And that becomes, I guess, the, the file that's, you know, shown here in this box. And now when I say finish, it, basically creates that artwork as shapes that are already kind of formatted for use with my cutting machine. In other words, if I click on a shape, I can see information in the op in the properties box that relates to cutting these shapes out. So the cutter presets, for example. Um, now, if I say new design again, and this time choose an additional technique, so embroidery or stencil or crystals or paint, whatever, you turn on another technique. Now if I say next, I get a new opportunity, which is to tell it what kind of fabric I'm going to choose. And again, I'll look at a lot of these things I'll look at in more detail later. So we'll just choose a fabric. I'll choose my standard normal and a light colored background and say next. And again, we're at that artwork source window where I could go in and, and you know, and choose an image that I want to create. And this time we're creating in cutting and paint. So if I choose the phonograph and say open and then say next, now it gives me another window. And this time it's the color reduction window. And now notice how smart it is because I've told it cutting and paint, it's converting all of the colors of this design into brushes for the pens. So you could decide how many colored pens do you have and you can use this sort of slider box to reduce the number of colors in the in the design. And again, if I had selected an embroidery techniques, then I may have been able to have converted these things into embroidery. So it's it's by choosing the techniques, you will affect the available tools and options that come. Now, if I just say finish, this is ready to go. And I could, you know, say file and export this to a cutting machine, uh, you know, for use with the pens. If I wanted to select any of the shapes and work on sort of affecting the style of printing, whether it be zigzag or fill, a row fill, you know, a paint and net fill, 
Um, now, just because I selected cutting and paint doesn't mean I can't use embroidery at this point because at any time when you have an active design open, you can choose this button here, the select techniques button, to to see what techniques are available in your design and to add them. Now, notice cut has a green um, bullet and I could turn that off or on, but paint has a red bullet. That means we've used some paint in this design and it's not possible to turn it off. Now, I could turn on other techniques. I could turn on all the techniques and make all of the tools available so that, for example, if I selected a part of this design, um, over and above having the different sort of paint tools available, I could choose, for example, to create an applique, you know, or a net fill. So that's the concept here is that as we turn on the techniques, the different tools become available. And so we kind of interact with all that by starting off with a new design. And just before I finish this segment, notice that I created three designs and they're all on my screen. None of them have been saved. They all have the default name untitled and so you can have multiple designs open at a time and sort of get between them by clicking on these different tabs.